Uh, is this camera straight? Hello again, and thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Philly Dips, and today we're going to be talking about a couple of things. <clears throat> First of all, uh, I'm thinking that this might be the last vlog you ever see from me as uploaded on a Sunday. Uh, <laughs> playing with the hearts of the five people who watch these videos. Yeah, no, this is my the first video, the last vlog you'll ever see from me on a Sunday. I think I want to switch around so we we do reviews and the fun and like the the big things on Sunday instead, of, and we do these these vlogs on Saturday because I've realized that I need that entire weekend to to work on these reviews and these sketches. You know, to to get a cast together, to finish the script, to film, to edit. <clears throat> And that's it's just something that I need to, you know, s succeed in doing a, in doing a decent job of what I make. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, so that's out of the way. So now you know it's I'll be switching it around from here on out, and we'll see how it goes. Other than that, though, uh, so a couple interesting things have been happening in the in the real world today. First of all, uh, yesterday was or yet yeah, last night was Earth Hour. If you are familiar with that, is that only a Canadian thing? I don't know, but uh, yeah. Er Earth Hour, which is basically, if you don't know, uh, last night on the 24th of March, I, I think it's the, it's the last, no, the second last Saturday of uh, March, uh, what, what you do is, for 60 minutes from 8.30 to 9.30, you turn off all the lights in your house and all the electronics and everything, and you sit there in a... Uh, you know, in the, in the dark, and you sort of enjoy the fact that you're using a ton less power, and there's a considerable drop in like in power consumption for just that one hour. Like it's a very, it's a very big effect to it, which which, uh, which is quite exciting to just be, be sort of a part of this movement. And I, I want to talk about that for for a minute because um, I think that the I think the environment is such a big issue that's handled in such a bad way. I'm not going to get too political because God knows no one likes it when I get political, but... Sorry, it's a fox out there. But yeah, uh, I, I think that we're, we're kind of tackling this in the wrong way because I was talking like, with my family because every, every Earth Hour we have like a fondue dinner and that's sort of our, sort of our tradition because I, even though such a, such a dinner is probably very... has a pretty big impact on the environment regardless. But you know, we do, it's something we've always done. We were talking, and we, were, we realized that you know, we have this Earth Hour, and we have all this uh, festivity, and we all talk about the environment, but we never act on it, which which is a sad statement, but it's kind of true that you know we have all these nice, they think they think that we have this big Earth Hour, and it's a big deal, and we turn off all the lights and all that, but we're not, we don't act on what we what we are trying to set out an example for ourselves to do, so. uh and see, uh, in my in my old elementary school, grades one to eight, there was this um, there there was the eco team, and they were like this environmental group. And even they, I mean, I I know some some people who are on that team are might, might be watching this, and they might be be, be saying like, you know, you know, Philip, you know, we did a ton of stuff, but in reality, it's hard to make a big a measurable difference on the environment, which is why I I like to live, sort of like conscious, like always consciously not being this super. You know, Earth Hour, eat, eat vegan only, and uh, you know, like go on hikes to look for garbage, all that. I just try to live on sort of a basis where I try to not impact the environment too much and just and, you know be a less consumptive person. But enough, enough of that. That's boring. Let's talk about something that really matters, which is this year, which is April Fool's Day, which is conveniently on the same day as Easter this year. But who cares about? the Passion of Christ, when we could, uh, you know, bask in the glory of April Fool's Day. Now, if, if there's one reason I like April Fool's Day, it's not because of the pranks or the, uh, you know, the, the, the whimsical funniest that go on ar around on that specific day. It's because of the Reddit social experiment that happens once per, once per year on April the 1st, and it'll last an indefinite amount of time. Uh, now, you... Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me ring a bell for you. Do you remember R slash plays last year? That was that huge uh, project that Reddit launched, where it's a big pixel of, or it's a big pixel art of like 1,000 by 1,000. It's all blank, and every Reddit user like who has an account can go on to the site 
and once every 10 minutes, but they change it to 5 minutes, but once, once every 5-10 uh, minutes, you can place a pixel of any color anywhere. It can be a, an empty space, it can be a space where somebody already has a, has a pixel. And, you know, you can imagine you can't just do this, you can't just do this over and over and over again because that would just be a clusterfuck. But you can team up with people, maybe friends or maybe strangers, to get something done. And that was a really, really cool thing that was going on from April 1st, I think April 3rd last year. It was a 72-hour event. And, um, yeah, so, so but it was a bit shady, like, shifty at first. Like, the most creative things people could do were, like, make the U.S. flag or, like, make, or try to, like, make an entire section in just one color. But things got more advanced over time. And, like, you know, a few hours in, you had, like, multiple different, like, kind of factions factions as they call themselves and like they would all team up like-minded people to create a certain thing maybe it would be maybe it would be art maybe it would be like some sort of um so like some sort of like like a heap of color maybe it would be uh uh you know like um a text like some some kind of amount of text for me personally i was part of uh what is now called or what we call ourselves the Rainbow Road, and the Rainbow Road was basically this idea that we could create in the middle of the place this kind of what we called the Rainbow Core, and it was this big sort of splash of um of a uh, like rainbow colored rainbow coloredness, rainbow coloredness, and from there we could run the rainbow like like kind of pattern in very small strips diagonally across the the, the Arzaj place and just spread to everywhere so we could have we could connect the entire place with this with this rainbow and that was something that I was really interested in so I wanted to you know be the guy who conquered who part of the group that conquers the, the far reaches of place with through it with this one this one body and it was this this might all sound kind of you know silly and ridiculous and, and I might be taking this a bit too seriously but it was vicious stuff. There were a lot of people who did not want, who, who wanted to just wreak havoc. Like, there was this group called Erase the Place, which was to turn everything back to white. There was a group called The Void, which wanted to turn everything black and just consume all the art projects and everything. There was the blue corner. There was the, there was the, the red corner, which failed. The, but, but, uh, but, and, uh, there's just a, just a ton of aggression and fighting. And, you know, the, the people, like, declared war. And like you know, they had like leaders, and they sent they sent ambassadors to other places. It was a really interesting social experiment, as it is. And uh, it was it was sort of like it's sort of it's something like um, it's like survival Minecraft. If you, if you ever play like Minecraft survival, like on a private server with friends, it can get like really like kind of aggressive. And I when I did that, it's sort of like we we had to like have some sort of you had, like uh, a justice system we had to like have our own like, relations and it got kind of political because that's just the tendency of modern humans to sort of try try to systemize things so that we can all get get what we want and it was i and um so it seems like a game almost you know this game but it's really it was an experiment done by reddit and they they done one it's not just place before that there was the far less well known uh, r/the/button and it was it was a timer that was a 60, 60 seconds and it ticked down, but uh, next to the timer was a button. And if you press the button, or you click the button, the timer will reset for everybody. So as, this, as it goes on, this timer keeps, keeps, keeps resetting. And if the timer hits zero, the experiment ends for everybody. So, but here's the catch. You can only click the button one time. So I, 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 I obviously, being the 12-year-old, or what would I, I would have been... No, I would be 14. Be the 14-year-old dickhead that I was. No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, yeah, 14 or 13. I, I would have, um... I, I, clicked, I clicked the button immediately. Because... Because, you know, that I didn't... Well, I didn't really... I didn't grasp it at first. I'm like, ooh, button clicking, and then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. So, yeah, I'm I'm just nothing but a, but a heathen, really. But, yeah, it's social experiments. There's there's I think there have been others... There have been others, too, that must have been. There might have been. I'm, I'm not sure, though. But I, I I believe that they're doing one this year. A different one, of course. And I I, I don't know how they're going to top r slash place. Because r slash place was just an incredible thing. It was huge. Every like There were like a million users doing it. Everybody was, do, was doing r slash place. Like, you would have 90k people on at once just clicking pixels all, all around. 
like it was talked about like on the news and you know on other websites and it was featured in like magazines. It was big. So I'm wonder I'm wondering how can they top such a thing? But although to be fair, as I pointed out on a Reddit post I made a while ago, I c I didn't think that they would be able to top the button when they did uh, our such plays. But how wrong I was. So maybe maybe it's going to be better better than the last one, which which wouldn't that be swell? But yeah, so many experiments. It's a really interesting th interesting thing that Reddit does, and I'm lo looking forward to it. I'm talking about this now because see, since we're doing the date change the day change around for uploading vlogs, um, th then you know I won't I won't be able to comment on it on the day of if we stick to the schedule, which is a a shame really. But yeah, so s Sunday then Easter Sunday, April first, Reddit Experiment Day is the day I will be uploading the coup review. I just spoiled what the, the review was. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a review of coup, coup, the, uh, hold on. This little fella. It's upside down. <laughs> this game. And that's going to be coming out on uh, the um, sun, Easter Sunday. And then, so yeah, we'll see how the ticket handle goes, and I'll just bask in hype for whatever this might be. Maybe it'll be a total letdown. Who knows? But I like to think optimistically, because because if we follow the trend, this one will impress me even more than place impress me. So, you know, li li live, on, live on and hype, I guess. You know, live, uh, live fast, die hard. You know, uh, Excelsior. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, but yeah, that's all for, for this evening. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday with a new tale from the table. Adios.